Amen. God bless you and happy Memorial Day um, for uh, to this Monday. And I pray that you guys are having a wonderful time, whether you're bar getting ready for a barbecue or uh, hopefully you didn't have to go to work. I, I, I pray that as well. But uh, if you did, uh, may God give you bl uh, peace there and, and uh, make the day go by quick. Amen. Um, the, the title of today's devotional is, um, it's kind of a, a one really close to home uh, from a recent event that happened uh, while we were traveling. And it, I, I titled it Looking Under the Lid. And it's based on a scripture that's found in John chapter 8, verses 23 and 24. It says, Jesus continued, you are from below, I am from above. You belong to this world, I do not. That is why I said that you will die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am who I claim to be, you will die in your sins. Again, as I said, recently we took a trip and, um, you know, at, uh, we went to our hotel and, and our hotel actually had one of those um, continental breakfast type things with, uh, actually had some hot food and we were able to make waffles and there was a lot of good things that happened to it. And the reason why this this one kind of, I changed the title and brought a little bit of the uh, uh, life experience into it is because, um, you know, I, I get excited about the waffles because I, I really like making waffles. And so uh, we got up in the morning as we were, were planning our day, we went downstairs I got the batter uh, from the waffle, it's a little uh, mixer. I, I poured it inside the waffle iron, I flipped it, and I waited for the waffle uh, to be made. And the smell, obviously when you're smelling it, it smells amazing, and I was looking forward to eating it. And um, you know, when it was ready, I, I quickly removed it, put it on a plate, and I went to go get some syrup. And when I went to the syrup container, um, I, I began to, to press on the lever for it to dispense and no syrup was coming out. It was barely, barely dribbling out of it. And so uh, I got the attention of one of the, um, you know, uh, the tenants that were there, that uh, um, workers that were, were working and kind of refilling the food and whatnot. And I got his attention and I said, excuse me, yes. I said, you know, the, the, the syrup has run out. Uh, there's no more syrup. And, uh, he, you know, he kind of looked at me for a second and then walked over to the syrup and lifted the lid and looked inside and so um, you know he, he he looked and said he kind of probably thought to himself yeah there's no syrup so he put the lid back on and walked away and the guy next to me uh, he made a comment that made me laugh he goes it's as if he thought you weren't smart enough to realize there wasn't any syrup and he had to look and it, it quickly sparked something inside of me and it, it brought something to realization and that is um, how many of us are you know looking under the lid before we really trust God I mean, I mean, really think about that for a minute. Uh, that God says He'll take care of you, He'll never leave you, He'll never forsake you, and you still look under the lid to make sure He's going to be there. Um, you know, when He says that His promises are yes and amen, and yet we look under the lid to make sure that the promise is really there. And, you know, I, I think I, I began to question, do you find yourselves wondering if the Lord really can do it? I mean, really, be truthful with yourself. And um, that's what the Scripture really is saying. Um, the Lord is saying, I'm from above you, but from below. He's saying that I, I have things that you don't understand because you're not of my world. And he clearly defines in the scripture by saying, for unless you believe I am who I claim to be, you'll die in your sins. And, I, and that's what sparked this truth. Unless you believe who I am and who I claim to be, um, you will die in your sins. And I think that's really what it's about. We have to believe and profess. And that's what scripture t defines and tells us. It's found um, in a portion of scripture found in Romans chapter 10, verse number nine. It says, if you open and declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And so, you know, I think that the, the honest question is, you know, let me ask you, what, what do you need saving from right now? What is it that's in your life that really, truly, honestly seems overwhelming and you feel, Lord, it's not enough. I'm pulling on the lever and nothing's coming out. I feel dry, I feel empty. Things are just not happening the way that I would hope they would. Um, do you believe God can fill that? Do you be believe that God can supply that? Do you believe God is more than enough? Then I'm gonna ask you, are you looking into the lid? Are you wondering if he'll fill it back up? And I'm gonna challenge you um, this morning. I'm gonna ask you to not look but trust and believe to have faith this morning that when God says he's going to do it, that you hold yourself to that promise and you wait for his hand to move. 
because I believe that that's what stops us sometimes from really truthfully moving forward in our lives. We keep looking under the lid. We lack the faith. As he says, you're going to die in it if you don't just trust and believe. Bow your heads with me as we pray. We thank you, Father, because nothing is impossible for you. And I believe, Father, that looking under that lid says, well, maybe you're not going to do it. But I'm going to ask, Lord, that uh, we would take a giant leap of faith this morning, not look under the lid, but just believe, God, that you're going to do what you said you're going to do. And I thank you, Father, that your word points to that truth. It reminds us this morning, oh, Lord, that you are just above uh, what, what our understanding is and that your word points us to a truth that says, I can do all things if you just place my, your trust in me. And so this morning, I pray that whoever's hearing this message on this day, Lord, that whatever they're facing in their life, I pray that the chains that are holding them back would be broken. I pray, Father, that the, the emptiness that they're feeling would be filled. That, Father, in the name of Jesus, that those paths that have blocks in front of them, Lord, I pray that you break them, Father. I pray that you open gates, Lord, and prepare doorways for us to step through, Father. I pray, Father, that you would continue to alter the course of our lives so that we would be drawn closer to you. We look to you as our Lord and Savior, and we trust you, O Lord. We thank you for this day. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. Hey, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this devotional this morning. And I just want to remind you that, um, you know, it is Memorial Day. I pray that you're having a wonderful time. Uh, but if you have some free time today, this is a great time to explore our uh, app, as well as um, maybe look through our different channels of, uh, uh, of social media, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, as well as Instagram, uh, or maybe even Twitter. We actually have that as well. I would just take a look. Uh, many of the devotionals and the services of past that are on there, I would pray that you would uh, just feed your, yourself this morning and let the Lord a minister to you in your life. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us. God bless.